welcome to another video um, using the eclectic collection and uh, in this video I will show you how to use the painters toolbox in Photoshop um, first of all um, let me go through the folders and um, explain you a bit about the, the files we have in this collection um, some color styles over here we have um, swatches and um, some shadows color overlays and the color uh, styles um, the next folder are the brush mix folder we have here really some beautiful vintage styled um, black PNG uh, files plus of course the ABR file for Photoshop and Photoshop elements. Um, the next um, toolbox folder is the um, brush tool set. Um, the brush tools are dynamic brush brushes and um, they work for sure in um, Photoshop 5.5 .5 and higher. And I think they work in uh, Photoshop Elements um, from version 13 and higher. They should also work in lower versions of Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, but they are not tested there. Um, I I don't have any problem if you buy the, the, the products and you don't um, can use them successfully that um, we can refund you the money. Um, just get in contact with me. Uh, in the folders you always have um, links to get connected with me and um, so don't be shy to try out some products. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is the brush tool set. The next um, folder are the cracked paint. Um, uh, styles we have an ASL style and the next one are the impasto styles and we have a bunch of glitter styles um, edge styles for um, text and also some dynamic glitter uh, scattered elements um, which I'm gonna show you how to use them then we have those really fantastic metal styles and we have um, a huge palette of different seamless pattern styles. And of course, the last pack of the Painter's Toolbox do have um, some text styles. They work um, best with um, on text and on shapes with, with harsh um, edges. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I would like to show you how I load them here from um, um, from the bridge. For that, I only use a double click on my Mac and they open immediately in my Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you that. We have the styles here. We open the style menu um, on top window, styles. So you have this little mark here and then you can be sure that the window is open and you can see here the first um, styles for the text are loaded into your Photoshop. Then we go to the next folder. We use the styles, the pattern styles. So you can see them here. They are loaded as well. Then we have some metal styles also. Now we have them here also loaded. And then we have the the edge styles and the glitter styles over here and um, just a second let me show you yes the, the brushes are empty so we going to load now with the, uh, with a double click um, the dynamic glitter styles and those are now uh, loaded in the brush palette and these are the whole glitter and dynamic 
scattered styles uh brushes sorry about that okay um the next folder is the are the impasto styles and you see the style palette gets fuller and fuller and then we load also the cracked paint over here and we load the brush tools and they are now loaded here in the brush palette here and we have the brush mix also here we have them in the brush palette loaded so we are in the color folder here and we use the color overlay the colors and the swatches and the shadows i don't load the swatches because i have them already loaded in my um swatches palette which you can see here okay let's see what we all have this is the whole bunch of styles you get in with the painter's toolbox that's really a huge amount of different um styles you can totally combine with each other and let's see what we can create first of all I think we need to have a white background for that. Um, having that one, okay. I see I painted here already something. Okay, here we go. Um, first of all, I think we need to start to uh, maybe create a, a mask. I want a mask and that I later can blend an image in to a background. For that, I will pick up maybe this vintage rose um, dynamic brush and I'm gonna paint now. I have in the foreground the, the black color and with only a little bit of a drawing on my Wacom board with a Wacom pen, this is what I get. Uh, and we going to use now the watercolor and we dab around the edges here and to make the edge a little bit more vintagey. Okay. I think this already looks great and I'm going to pick now from the um, papers a solid paper for the background. I have no idea what I will do, but I think I like to have something in brown. Copy and um, paste it. I stick the layer with the paper now in the background and I close this uh, or lock this layer now with the that it's locked with the little icon here in the layer here um, that I can't move around the paper. Okay, now I'm going to pick um, a photo f which I want to blend into my background. And let's see what we have here in my stash. And um, someone should now sit and say stop. Which photo I shall pick? Mm. Which one does work the best for? Maybe we use that one. Okay, I have this photo, copy, paste, and we place the photo on top of layer one. And layer one is our just created mask. And now we clip it 
Um, I use the Alt Command G, but you can also use um, here by by right click and then use here the um, line create clipping mask. Um, another version is that you click on the um, layer and pull that somewhere. I don't know. I never used this function. I don't know how this works, but I saw it on that a lot of scrappers do that. I don't know how this works. Okay, sorry about that. That was just try and error. <laughs> okay, we can see that the the photo now um, does end here and our um, mask is much bigger than our photo. What we can do now is we resize we, um, our photo a little bit, make it a little bit more and okay this is what we go going to have i think i like that i like the position i like that the birdie isn't totally in the middle of the layout that's something what um what really is um important that if you if you place everything in the middle it it gets boring interesting in designing is always to get out of the middle and um, place your um, focus always a little bit outside of the middle so you really have a more interesting view of your pages okay and what i just saw is i have here just let me blend them out i have here a line in the paper you can see that here and now i'm going to see in the background of my image there's a little wooden thing in the background and now um, I try to uh, follow the line of the paper here and pick up this line here and these are little details which will later make your page a little bit more interesting to see and to watch and to um, Yes, um, that that a whole image is um, more creative. Yes. Okay. So we have now the blending mask. We have an image, and now we start to have a new layer again. Um, what I like to know uh, to do now is, I want to have some painted um, edges here. And for that, we have here the leaf and old book. Okay, let's paint here only on some little parts. And I want to use one of those um, um, styles from the impasto so let's open the this one the dark one with the leaf on this is what i'm going to use now here in my layout um it will give my page a little bit of a texture and interesting parts don't overdo it only some bits here and there and you're done okay this is without and now we have that blended in and that looks already pretty nice okay let's start a new layer um let's try another we have here texture and cracked wall okay we have a new layer and now we paint and let's see what happens okay you can see there's a texture with a crack wall <laughs> and let's dab around a little bit also here and now let's try some of the um, metallic styles 
do they work? Oh, that's pretty cool. I think I like this glitter a little bit here. Um, we have this gold. We have this brighter one. The silver, I think that's too dark. Let's go into the blue, which I like. Oops, and this happens, I just clicked on a, one of those edge styles from the um, glitter pack and this is what happened when you when you use it on a mm, um, on an element or a, on a layer which do have um, blended edges and not harsh edges and um, I, th I don't think that it looks nicely so be sure to use them only on text those edges okay Let's click around and see what will happen. Um, I think I like this white one. It makes the whole thing a little bit more um, brighter. Yes. Okay. Um, you can you can move around your layers. For example, I move now. Um, this just created a layer. Um, underneath the one with the painted um, style so I think I like that even more and I will let that now leave how it is okay um, we do have those cracked solid uh, paints here let's see what happened we create again a new layer Always be sure that you use a lot of layers when you create your um, your layouts. I don't like it when it's here on top, but um, I thought just this is nicely when it's here underneath. But I want to change here the color. Where are the cracked stuff? Here. That's too much. This one, nope. Mm -mm. Yes, I think this is nicely in the over here. I think the cracked um, styles um, are perfect for adding a little bit of details on your canvas, like I do now. I only dab around, not much, but now it looks like um, that your uh, um, blended image cracks out of the wall and for that you also can move uh, the layer with the cracked paper or the cracked style just underneath the mask so it really comes out from the background and um, shows like the image itself is um, painted on a crack wall okay that looks pretty nice so let's see what we can do more um, <laughs> um, let's use here some of those brush mix brushes Let's see what it what happens. Um, I think that in this layout those seamless styles do not work at all. We can click there wild around and but we will sure enough not not reach an something that I am satisfied. So let's go more to those with a lot of texture and um, see what happens and you can see also me as a des uh, designer I try a lot around I really try a lot around um, when I'm doing a layout um, it's this is this is what I teach always in my videos that you should not start to use um, a new collection um, 
you shouldn't buy it and sit down and think, but I'm going to make now a layout. You should try because then you find out what a collection by MBK Design uh, is filled up with. There are so many different things to find out to to create and, and use and um, this will only um, this is something you only will find out when you play around and give your, your yourself a little bit time to use all the products and um, get your fingers um, done by using everything um, in a nice way and not get stressed by it. I can imagine that maybe some customers uh, are to um, over um, how is the how is it called overrated over it's an overkill by all those products a lot of products in a collection and it's it can get into too much and um, maybe you don't feel um, you're more stressed by it than it makes you any um, um, that it gives you some in, um, that it oh I can't find the words today. It's really hard for me to think so much in English. It's Friday and um, after work and um, the whole week was a little bit stressful. So oh, my brain is a little bit confused. Okay. So yes, um, some products can be um, overwhelming, I think, and um, um, you need to get into it. But um, I think I like now the leaves here. They look a little bit as they come out of the well, cracked um maybe um, from the bottom here yes and um, let's go on um, we again create a new layer and I like to add now a little bit of a kind of sprinkles for that we open dynamic glitter styles over here and let's see what we have here maybe this only here and here and here and we use here this bit of glitter. This blue is really nice. And again, a new layer. We will have so many layers. Um, okay, you can see here. they are too big. And for that, I'm, I I um, make those this little this um, brush smaller over here. It was. Um, I think it was, it was, it was 126 pixels and now we are at 25 pixels, so really small. I want only, yes, little, a glimpse of glitter, okay? It's not much, you can see. Well, let's, let's zoom in. Look at all these little, little dots. They are like little bubbles. And will make your page a little bit more sparkly and um, interesting. A new layer again because I want to change um, the color of the glitter. I I'm, I'm going to use now maybe this greener one a little also here. And let's dab around. Okay, it's starting to get really beautiful. Let's try something. Just an idea. I don't know if it works. Um, only just let's see what happens. So we make here some sparkly dots. All over the place and over here and over here and it looks like the spirit does have some diamond in his feathers okay so the thing is um, when you do artsy that you um, 
that you find the right balance between too much and too less. If you if you have too less, it will not look artsy. If you have too much, it can be totally overflown. And um, if you have a lot of stuff on your page, I think the best is always to stay in a in a nice color combo that um, nothing too bright, nothing too bold, because that is then more like graffiti style or something like that but it doesn't have to do with artsy this is my opinion okay let's see what we're going to do now um i like to have now a little painted um line and for that I'm going to use um, this brush now and make it really really small we are now at 8 pixels and let's see what happens when we use it okay um, you can see Ooh. there's too much so we are now at 100% okay this looks a little bit how I want but not how I really want it for that we going here on the menu bar and just underneath Photoshop CC there's this folder with the little brush in just click on it and then your brush settings open and I want now I want to have a a, a straight line or a line and um, we have here the dual brush activated and we reduce the spacing or oh, let's try to yes we click on the little sign on just in front of the dual brush that it's deactivated and yes this is what i wanted i want to have just close that and where is the beginning of my ending of my okay here we go so now we add a little bit of details here this time i don't have any any um loopy lalusas in this pack i created some but um they got not really pretty how i wanted and so i didn't put it into the collection okay but let's see how we can do a little bit doodling with uh, brushes okay this is what you can do you can see and what we now use is smoothing you can see that here on top again on the menu bar and right now it's on zero percent let's use 40 percent around okay so now you can see that it makes now really nice loops it makes not harsh edges when you draw it makes really nice loops this is what happens when you activate smoothing and um you will always have really nice round round ways to draw okay we delete that and i want to have the brush still a little bit smaller just hold on a second let's make that and we hide that here okay So we have the layers and let's try something okay did you see it was only one swoosh <laughs> and what now is disturbing that the wing of the bird is underneath this little swoosh 
<laughs> and we can go to the eraser tool now and I always have those um, brushes hard round or soft pressure opacity with those you can always use also the eraser tool okay let's make it smaller and just go and erase the parts of the loop what is over the birdie okay now it looks that the loop is just underneath the bird and I think that looks pretty cool I'm gonna show you now how you create now a, a shadow um, and warp it afterwards um, on this loop okay we create a shadow for that we go to the to the layer styles we use here on the bottom the drop shadow and let's use here distance and i think we can 40 and the size we this is what blurs the line we go on seven okay now we created um, a nice shadow but that's not all what I want I want now transform only the shadow without the stroke or the, the loopy lelusa so we need now to separate the shadow from the loop loopy lelusa and for that we go with the right click just on the little icon here on the layer and go to ah uh, where is it here you need to you need to take care if you that you go and click with the right mouse really on fx and then we use the create layer okay now we have a separate layer with the shadow just click on it and you can see this is the shadow it's totally um, on a an, on its own and now we can warp the um, um, the shadow and for that we use here on top this little icon with this um, f shape here okay and you see you have a kind of a grid and all those um, points here are um flexible and you can move them around okay so what always looks good if you have such um points that are such um they come together that you try by moving this grid that those points i'm gonna zoom oh just Okay, so we'll make it that those points are not um, too far away from the actual stroke. Okay, and edge when you have um, an end of the loop, then it's good when you move it away. And this is what a nice shadow um, will make okay it's not easy you need to get to learn and what happens now is that you um, that the shadow will go over the bird but we will afterwards um, make here a little bit of a um, erasing and it will look pretty good okay this is what happens now you can see now on top here we have that the shadow is far away from the stroke and here it's very near and so it looks like um, that the uh, um, shadow is um, very dynamic again we used a razor tool 
and we erase here the, those parts a little bit which hang over now um, on the bird's body can go over here so okay that looks nice okay love it so um, let's see what we can do now um, what you also always can do when you create a, a layout uh, from scratch that you're going to use one of the artsy bits and pieces, for example. Um, let's try one. But um, I like to have this layout more with only the brush tools. So I think this would look really, really nicely here. So you have really a depth. You have in front of this sharp, really sharp a flower and in um, in the layer mask you have this more blurred water and the spurt and um, I think it really looks nice and lovely. Um, we have the st stitched threads but I don't think that I want to use them here in this layout. Okay going back to the painter's toolbox this is um this is um what we did for now and let's make a word art and use some of those styles um at the beach well okay Let's see what font we, we, we use. Um, we can use this one. Um, this is a font I have um, I have bought at my fonts, as far I know. It's called Aparo. And it does have some real nice addings here. And this is this is what you can do since uh, Photoshop 2017, I think, that you can change if a font does support it. You can change the different, oops, glyphs. Okay, so. No. Okay. So we have here now our text and um, our title. And we also could add it here. And you can see now, you, this swirl from the H and the, and the end of the word beach, it swirls just here as it's just getting into one. And I like this one. Yes, I like this. So we let that here. And now let's see what we can reach when we choose different um, kind of styles. Here we have the metallic styles. Um, I like this brown hue a lot. Also that looks nicely. I think that's too much to green. It's not good to see here. The blue is nope, nope, nope. I don't like the salmon here as well and these are the edges and this looks fun but don't I don't think that it that it fits from the that it fits to the page no this is one with, with glitter so a lot of things to try out here this is one with the cracked styles. <laughs> what we going to use now? Let's go on top and we use here those text styles. They have a little. Okay. And now I'm going to show you something. This is a style. 
it contains a paper parts of the paper are transparent and um, we double click we double we go to the to the layer to the effects and we double click on pattern overlay double click so you can see here in this little um, preview there is a there is a, um, a, a piece of paper in and now we can go to the um, to the word and we can move around the attached texture or the attached paper here and you can see how it moves around in the word art or in the text itself so you can always move any pattern styles how you like it okay and uh, let's see when i'm going here over it you can see it gets white because it is totally transparent here on top and the bottom part of the um, texture is filled with a paper we can zoom in this is now by 100 percent and this is how it looks now it's really really fun style here uh, and i think i will um, use that here in the layout i really like that yes okay um you can also now add here if you like a little bit of a journaling some nice text i would suggest here um using a kind of typesetter text i will fill it with um no um how is it called blind text we say in german blind text blind text lorem ipsum i don't know um t text which means nothing <laughs> okay special elite is a, a nice font for um journaling i think and we make it way smaller we go on 50 points here wrong one oh where is it where's my text yeah here it is Whew. i don't i lost my text field just you see I work each day with Photoshop and also I am lost sometimes. Okay. Choosing here, we choose here, what did we set? Special Elite. And we go to 15 and point and use in 16. And maybe use white, it's the font color. And I think 15 is still too much. 11, but we stay on the 15 points between. And you can see we not choose the whole text here. So it was just, and um, what now is a little bit disturbing here, This leaves what we added so maybe we can you move them around over here and add here the text and yes it's still too much i think this text i would go to down to eight and may 12 and i think that's totally enough for text for the size of the text to make it des describing um 
Yes. I think I like this layout a lot. And um, I will upload it later to my gallery at the Lilypad. And I hope you enjoyed to watch now um, playing a little bit around with the painter's toolbox of the eclectic collection. And um, if you have some questions, please um, feel free to ask them in my anthology group or also come and um, give me some comments here on YouTube or on Facebook. I'm always um, happy to, to get any feedbacks of my um, videos because I only can get better t with your feedbacks and your questions and um, only then I know what you like to see or um, what you not like to see. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a happy time and happy scrapping. Bye. Thank you.